you, you see them and, and, and it's always good that a win. Let's see if Gonzalez is running against the lefty. Stays put. Fowler lines one into left field. A base hit. Gonzalez on his way to third. And no throw. So the speedy Rockies at it early once again tonight. Gonzalez and Fowler with base hits. Colorado with runners at the corners and nobody out. Gonzalez was running, but he did the right thing. He made sure that Hap was going to the plate so he didn't get picked off. He still went first to third on this hit to left field. And Abanez did the smart thing. He had no play on Gonzalez. Trying to keep the double play in order. Going to bunt. would like to see him bunt it to Feliz and make him field it. There's a bunt. And it's going to get past Ayer, who is injured. Scott Ayer down in a heap as he tried to break toward that baseball. It's going to go as an infield hit for Fowler. But Scott Ayer wasn't promoted to the big leagues until June 1st. Has two stolen bases in this postseason thus far. He's the only Rocky to have stolen a base as Fowler goes to the opposite field. And the aggressive Rockies coming out swinging the bats early against Lee with two hits to start it. Nice piece of hitting by Dexter Fowler going the other way. Like a cutter to the outside corner. And he did a good job of going with this pitch. So some early action against Cliff Lee. Something the right power pitch for him. The 3-1. Line to center field, and that is going to fall in front of McCutcheon for a base hit. The one difference you sometimes get with young pitchers in big games is that in their first crack at it. Tonight, Chevrolet pitch tracks. You see the arsenal. And you see this ball hit to right, and it's going to fall for a hit. Dexter Fowler is two for two. Right. Fowler, who came up with the Rockies, played with the Houston Astros, and has really flourished. At that uh, you can't give up anything, like in this case. It looked like he was a little frustrated for that reason. The 2-2 in the air, deep right, back toward that wall, and Fowler has gone deep. Dexter Fowler getting the glad hand in that Cubs dugout. He's three for three, has scored three runs, and is homered here in the fifth. He and Schwarber are five for five for the second out. Another look at the long ball. Four seam fastball right down the middle, pal. He has, we talked about him not being the prototypical leadoff hitter. He's got power, he's got juice. He jumps all over this one. Carries out to right center field. didn't like it and the fans Buck fans and right center didn't even really re react to catch it Four teams that met 19 times this year Things are getting vocal. That's all it is at this point Well, you can see the side of the Pittsburgh Pirates What they're saying is you've hit half an inch under the barrel of the bat It ended up about a foot short chopper tough play Peralta coming in bare hand no play run is in and the ball has not left the infield in the second inning and three runs have scored the Cubs lead by two now I'm with you Brian that stolen base of third by Jackson kind of set the tone for this whole inning needless to say the errors have played a huge part but the Cubs have basically sent a message with that stolen base saying we're not just going to sit back and wait for a home run do or die play there. He never would have gotten Fowler anyway, but he gets a ground ball and a ball about chest. Runs in the second inning. All five of those runs were unearned. 
Added one in the third. It was 6 1 after two and a half. The Cardinals got back to back home runs in the fifth inning from Long and Gritchick, and that's where we sit here in the seventh, 6 3. Fowler, jam shot, little flare, and then out into left center field, and Hayward can make the play. Fowler on his way to second, and the throw just late. Fowler's in there. Looked like Hayward had it lined up, but he missed it. Would have been a great catch. Instead, it is a double for Dexter Fowler. He was calling for it early, guys, and he knows that Matt Holliday can't cover the ground that. Uh, you would hope he could because of that thigh injury. He makes that catch most of the time, and that's Absolutely. an outing. He almost bang bang play at second. Good hustle by Fowler. They were a two time Gold Glove Award winner. He's one of the best right fielders in the game. With all the cardinal injuries to the outfielders, he's in center field for this series. Significantly by speaking to Eddie the other day in Pittsburgh in the wild card game, he's not just here. As a Johnny come lately to hang out with Theo, he's a long-term Cubs fan. He told me at his first game, his power perhaps goes deep here. Yeah, Hayward looking up, and it's gone. A home run for Dexter Fowler. That is a major league record. Six home runs in a postseason game. Dexter Fowler with his second postseason home run, and the Cubs are up eight to four. I knew the ball was jumping tonight, but that's ridiculous. Six home runs. Just a slider inside, and he just lifts it right out of here. See the slider? He sort of left it right there, spinning. He got this thing in the air. And that's all you have to do, and it ball carries. Catcher, you got to feel great when you can be the caretaker of such a young and talented staff. On the ground into right field, base hit. Just the second. Three one in the left center field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Lagaris hustles it in, and Fowler with a two out hit. No Fowler got in the fastball count, and made the most of it. Fastball that's a little up, stayed on him. This Darno, one down. And the breaking pitch. That Fowler fooled 0 and 1. Fowler 0 for 3. But he's 3 for 5 in his career against Clifford. To first, fair ball down the line. Fowler to second. And he will hold up there. Although Granderson had some trouble out there. Balls hit sharply right down the first baseline. Ooh, just out of the reach of Duda. Amelia moves his glove and hat. By the time Granderson got there, slipped a little on the transfer. Fowler looked like he wanted to give it a shot and was timing it. There's no real reason to take a chance right here, down three. That's all in the air behind first, and there is Murphy, and nobody's going to catch it. Murphy and Granderson were there, it fell in between them. Well, you could tell on the fly ball to Granderson before that the wind was playing with it a little bit and bringing it back and carrying it. No doubt the ball was coming coming back and going a little deeper than everyone thought. This is a play that if you're not used to playing to Wrigley Field, when the ball goes up over the roof, 
When it starts to come down, it'll blow back speeds when you need it. Again on three and two. And here's a drive to right. It sends Pence back, and it's off the Ivy. Fowler on his way to second, and it's not there with a leadoff double. Here. Dexter Fowler follows with a broken bat base hit. Well, he had thrown pass balls up by him, but this one didn't get high enough. He didn't change his swing. For Madison Bumgarner, this inning, the Cubs have made him work so hard that he didn't have an opportunity against a normal pitcher. He had to grind as if it was an everyday hitter, and that's what Jake Arrieta is saying. Oh, man. That's like a scene out of a WWE act. Well, pitcher's RBIs have six. Madison Bumgarner knew as soon as he threw it. So you want the DH, huh? Oh, boy. <laughs> Here's your postcard against it, I guess. Here's Chris Bryan now. Three runs in with two away and a runner at first. All this happening, mind you, with two strikes in these counts. Russell hit ball. That drills the inside corner strike two. Fowler's not afraid to work the count. Leadoff hitter when he goes, the Cubs go. He's not afraid to hit with two strikes. He can follow off a lot of pitchers' pitches with the best of them. Loves the sinker from the right hander. Maeda has him set up. That's in the right center field, the base hit, and a good start for Chicago. It's interesting. I saw just watching the game that Maeda pitched. He got in trouble when he tried to elevate the ball up, and he never got the ball exactly where the catcher wanted. But in this case, he did. Probably going with the four seamer, and I think Fowler. Again, not afraid to hit the two strikes. Set the tone for now. The MVP's coming up. Brian and Rizzo. Well, this was a Cubs team that hit only 200 in that divisional series win over the Giants, the four-game series. Bryant was not part of the problem. Went six for 16. Hit a home run, drove in three. Had a big game-tying ninth inning two-run shot in game. slider down it's the lefty sliders that haven't been very good Montero we talked about the one he missed earlier this is going to be a carbon copy right over the middle of the plate he sees two in a row that back at all that was an 0-2 to Miguel Montero and now Fowler and this one's more of the breaking ball variety but this one hung too Fowler knows it as soon as he hits it, so does Bryant. One two pitch. Hard hit down the line. Extra bases for Fowler. He'll dig for two. Kendrick gets to it. It's a two out double in the first extra base hit of the night for Chicago. And with Bryant coming up, we'll see if that's it for the lefty Dayton. going to have a hand in this series uh, so it won't be the last time you see him pitch if this series goes seven for the Dodgers in case you're wondering about his left eye we'll get to that either here in the top of the fourth inning or the bottom half that's in the left center and will get down tolls knocks it away and Fowler into second for the double
Toes was closing on this hard. Covered a lot of ground. And almost makes a spectacular play. As you see Fowler. And now Tolls. High and tight, ball one. Fowler drove home 48 during the regular season, hit 13 home runs. There's one RBI that came in game one back at Wrigley. That's a base hit into right. Russell scores. Montgomery will hold at second. And Fowler's got a two hit night. It's 6 2. Interesting that the Dodgers were holding against Mike Montgomery, the runner at first base, the pitcher. And there was a lot of room to the right of Adrian Gonzalez, and Dexter Fowler just found it. Cubs get it right back and now lead by four. But there is more rest between starts in Japanese professional baseball. Here's a 1 1. This one up the middle and a good start for the Cubs. Fowler is on to start the night. Next. Two big runs sitting out there for Chicago. That's a ground ball. Fielded by Gonzalez. Safe at first. It's four to one. This is the toughest play in the world for a pitcher with the infield in. If you go to run across to cover first, you might get drilled with the throw, so you're anticipating that in the last minute. It's too late. So once Gonzalez doesn't come up throwing home with the do-or-die play, he's in no man's land. It goes as a hit for Fowler and an RBI. And a big one as it advances the runner. The only thing I say there is he was beating him to the punch with the fastball. He went with the slider, and that allowed Fowler to get the barrel of the bat on, then mix in that slider. He attacked with fastballs last game. That's down the right field line, slicing into the corner. It's fair. It's a double. You can read the lips of Fowler. Watch him out of the box. I think he thought all along this ball was going to slice foul until just before he got to the bag. Didn't matter. It took a bounce and got out of play, and he's at second with nobody out. Fowler attacks a lot of high fastballs. Might have thought that was one, but it was a high slider, and that benefited him for just being able to get it inside the line. You can't afford to work the count and get deep. His slider curveball combination with two strikes almost unhittable average wise and stuff wise Base hit. here comes Russell throw by toes cut off three nothing Chicago and Fowler's stuck and out but Dexter Fowler's two for two and the Cubs take advantage of the leadoff double by Addison Russell. Two in the first, one in the second. Three nothing home team after two in game six. Kyle Hendricks heads back to work. Door kept it on the infield, went down as an error. Eight walks the Cubs have been handed here tonight by Cleveland. Manship just really rushing with his front side, missing on the wrong side of the plate. That's into right field, a base hit. 
They will hold the lead runner, Contreras. Bases loaded, one out. And Fowler on with his first hit of the World Series. Trust me, he, as he points to his teammates, needed that at bat. Feel good to check in. A hanger. And he stays right there and smokes it. Actually hits it too hard to the right fielder, preventing a run from scoring. Runner Wilson Contreras, the lead man. Little hesitation. Gary Jones held him up. That'll be it for Manship. Otero coming in with the bases loaded, only one out. And Chris Bryant coming up. string together they left a ton of runners on base so they had traffic on base and won that game too but games one and three masterful job Fowler flips at it lifts it into left Davis cannot make the catch and Fowler's into second to start the night for Chicago Before replays, our four keys to the game. Well, for Cleveland, win the five innings. That's what they've done all postseason. But you've got to hit the fastball. Go down with a fight. And that's what Chicago did right there. Put it in play, got rewarded with a double. They haven't been able to hit the fastball all season series. And right there, that looks like a defensive swing. That's what you want if you're a starting pitcher to give up that kind of swing. But they got rewarded because the wind is blowing in. And making contact, you never know. There's a nervous energy in this park. The 2 1. That's in the air to center. Back at the wall. It is gone. What a start. Dexter Fowler, hello in game seven. 1 0 Chicago. Dexter Fowler couldn't have drawn it up any better. Maybe he had a dream about that last night, but he puts it into action. It's the first ever leadoff home run in a game seven, and it belongs to Dexter Fowler. Well, he let the moment and the count come to his favor. He's not afraid to take pitches. And you would Dexter Fowler at the plate. Well, this is that two seamer comebacker, and that's exactly what it did, but it fought right to the barrel. He knows he's hit it good. He doesn't know how good. That ball's up in the air a long time, and then he almost starts running backwards. Letting everybody know, here we go. And just out of the reach of Rajay Davis. A first inning run, now one on, one out for that guy Anthony Riz strike two picked up from the Yankees as the Cubs went the other direction it got a roll as Chapman from the Yankees in season here's a one two to Fowler that's a base hit Fowler on to continue the fifth nobody out in this game came against the starter Corey Kluber Here's one into right, another hit for Fowler. And he's on to start the seventh. The home run he hit off Miller came in game number four. The ultimate table setter for the Cubs and how he goes. Usually it's so goes. You know, it was an honor, you know, just to be you know, even considered, you know, to be to be in the Cardinals organization. You know, you, you, you play against the Cardinals, you know, I've been playing against them for eight years now and 
You know, they, they always they always come out fighting and always they're always fighting and then playing in the rival, you know, being with the Cubs and, 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 and playing them, you know, however many times we play a year. Um, you, you, you see them and, and, and it's always good that a winning team wants you. So it, it, it was uh, it's definitely